A British couple is attempting to break a world record by flying across the Atlantic Ocean, get this guys, in a hot air balloon. The plan is they're gonna take off from Sussex, New Brunswick. They could land anywhere from the North African coast to north of Scandinavia, really depending on the winds. If successful, Deborah Day and Mike Scholes will make history with this crossing. They join us this morning from London. Good to have you both on the show this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I, the first question, obviously, why do you want to do this? It's something different. It's a challenge. We like long distance and we like challenging flights. So, Deborah, how do you prepare for something like this? Um, well, we've, we've been doing all sorts of training. So, um, just in case something amiss that we happen to go into the water, we've been doing sea survival, um, fitness, lots of reading. Um, yeah, it's been a, a six year um, lead in. So, I'm just imagining, you know, six years ago, you, you know, sitting around, maybe the dinner table having dinner, going, hey, I have a really good idea. Let's get in a hot air balloon and, uh, and really sail across the ocean. Is that kind of what the conversation was like, Mike? Not far off, not far <laughs> off. We, we enjoy the, there's an annual competition called the Great British Long Jump to fly as far as you can each October. And Deborah won that and she thought, well, what, what can we do now? It was really yeah. wanting to do something that, that hadn't been done before. And um, we took our inspiration from um, people like Don Cameron um, and w all the other very mm -hmm. brilliant balloon pilots that have, have done this. So Mike, Mike has a lot of experience with um, flying and I was just very lucky to meet him and, and sort mm -hmm. of on, go down this road, yes. De Deborah will be the first lady to captain a balloon across the Atlantic. It's and I'm registered blind, so I'll be the first registered blind person to crew. Wow. And um, after my sight went, I got help from Blind Veterans UK that helps ex-service people who've lost some or all of their sight. And so we are going to promote Blind Veterans UK. Yeah, we're raising money for them. All right, just and making history uh, doing that. So let's talk logistics, guys. Okay, I have a couple questions about how this is going to work. You're trying to beat the record of uh, just a little over six days, so you're hoping to get there in six days. Okay, what do you do for food? Expedition food, um, lots of water, expedition food. Um, we're in a basket. The basket will be insulated. We have lots of... We're camping in the sky, basically, it's sky <laughs> camping. Okay, and then how do you how do you work out sleep no. schedules and where do you sleep? So yeah. we we have we have we will have an auto burner so um, so that we can sleep or I can sleep. Um, the auto burner will keep the balloon in level flight. Um, we will take it in turns. Mike has a, um, a an app that will tell him what the balloon is doing. A, a medical physicist friend has designed an app. So I touch one corner of the iPad. Mm -hmm. and it tells me the height. Another corner says whether we're climbing or descending and at what speed. Mm -hmm. And another, if somebody calls up, they can see where we are. Um, so I'll be able to keep in touch. And we will obviously have alarms on the instrument. So if we do start to drop out of the sky or conversely go up too quickly, You'll be alerted. Uh, it'll tell us. Um, okay, I have to ask yeah. you the question I think a lot of people are thinking right now. You're in this basket. Where do you go to the bathroom? How does that work? Uh, same as normal. <laughs> <laughs> bucket with a greaseproof bags. Do you think you'll still be and, talking uh, at the end of this? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Always. Always. And where do you hope to I land? Mean, where, I, where's the destination desire? Uh, um, so Europe would, would be great. Right. Central Europe. Debbie quite likes the idea of Switzerland, near Gruyere, where they make the cheese. I think that's a fantastic idea. I'm assuming you've got your passports yeah, yeah. with you? Of course. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have a new one by then. Yeah, yeah. we're... Um, every, yes. Everything's... Yeah. We, we've, it's yeah. been a lot of hard work and we've had... We have the help of our wonderful flight director, Kevin Stass. Um, we, we have... We are self-funding, but we are still looking for sponsorship as well. So if anybody's interested. <laughs> oh, well, We're hoping that the Canadian company Lind Praxair will help us out with helium. Look at that little shout um, out. I like that. 
Mike and Deborah, listen, mm, yeah. we wish you the best of best of luck. We'll be following yeah. your journey. And if our yeah. viewers want to follow their progress, you can visit our social media pages as well. Information on our website, yourmorning.ca. Guys, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.